What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you're feeling awesome, turn on post notifications cause it's Friday. But today's gonna be super chill. I'm gonna take you through a normal work day, show you a couple of meals, maybe sneak a workout in. This past week has been a deload, but I am getting the itch to lift some weights. So with that being said, first things first, we're gonna get our steps in, so let's go. And here we are. I gotta say guys, this is the best time of day Literally just getting our steps in, getting that blood moving, getting that day started off on the right foot. So since I've started YouTube, I've had to really spend a lot of time figuring out how I prioritize my days on a day-to-day -day basis, weekly basis, and so forth. And really understanding you know, where I'm putting all of my mental energy and really trying to figure out what makes the most sense and how I'm gonna achieve the goals that I've got set forth, right? I mean, you've only got so many hours in a given day. You've only got so much gas in the tank to give. So what are you doing to really make sure that it's hitting in all the right places? You know, you factor in, you've got 24 hours in a given day, eight hours to spend going to work, maybe going to school. You've got six to seven hours of sleep, give or take a few. And then on top of that, I don't know, maybe one to two hours that you're devoting to commute time, maybe walking to school, transportation in general. And then you're only left with six or seven hours. So with that time that you've got, you know, what are you doing to really make an impact on the goals that you're looking to achieve? So really just makes you think, but we're gonna get our steps in and it's gonna be an awesome day. It's Friday, so I'm super stoked. To just really cap off this week and end it on a good note. But otherwise, let's get this day started. The funniest things about some of these corporate meetings is just the banter that you hear between some of the team members when it comes to uh, some of the power struggles. Uh, the struggle is real. Oh man, where does the day go? So it's already 12 o'clock and I haven't had breakfast yet. So um, the last couple of days, honestly, because I haven't hit the gym, well, my breakfast has kind of changed a little bit. It's gone into just more like comfort food. And I don't know if it's because the weather has changed or, you know, just maybe I've been craving something different, but what I've been doing is creating a little bit of uh, kind of like a cheese roll up with lavash bread. So super low on calories, get some protein in, get a nice soup in, just fill up that belly with some hot, hot soup. And yeah, so I wanna take you through it. So for breakfast, it's really easy. I'm just gonna grab one of these lavash breads. We're gonna take four of these fat-free mozzarella sticks. And I think each mozzarella stick has like six grams of protein, uh, maybe two grams of fat. So I'm gonna take four of these and then really just do like a quick little roll up and then got some tomato soup. We're gonna be good to go. So now that we have the lavash bread cut up into four slices, we're gonna go ahead and take each one of our mozzarella sticks, fat-free ones, and then we're gonna roll it up and then throw it onto the pan and just give it a nice crisp. I'll tell you what, there's nothing like a good soup to really start your day off. I, I don't know what it is really, it must be the weather because um, a hot soup just absolutely starting off the day right. But let's take a look at these little mozzarella sticks. Let's see if we can try and do a pull test. Oh yeah. Take a look at that. All right, I'll put the macros and the calories up on the screen, but let's go ahead and dive into this. All right, so I've got about an hour and a half, hour 45 before my next meeting. So let's go ahead and get a workout in. You guys wanna know what I rock out to to get myself amped up? Oh yeah. Just gonna fist pump my way to the gym. Comment down below, what is your favorite song to work out to? 
just absolutely gets you ripped for the gym. I'll tell you what guys, Selena Gomez definitely has some killer tracks. All right, we're gonna hit some pre before we get to the gym. Cheers, boys. Freaking delicious. All right, let's get this workout in. Cheers. It's so hard to like not get carried away with going too heavy on these weights, especially during a deload, because that extra rest time throughout the week definitely adds up. My brother had actually challenged me to do 100 burpees in 10 minutes or less. I don't know if you guys have tried that before, but that's a pretty killer workout. So we're gonna try this out. This is gonna be a nice finisher, that's for sure. All right guys, I've got about 20%, maybe 15% battery left. We'll see if I can make it within this time frame. but let's go. That totally sucked. So, official time, I think, is 9.49. I'm gonna have to go back and check the counts. So I feel like a 70, 75. Blood in my brain just like went out the door. So I'm gonna have to double check those counts, but 9.49. All right, guys. Workout's a wrap. All right, guys, we've got a little bit of a break, so we're gonna try something out. Super excited about this. Good old Pepsi and Coca-Cola test. I'm curious to see how I answer this. So first up, I gotta find a blindfold. All right, perfect. This is gonna be for Coke. Coke, Pepsi. We're not playing around, guys, it's the real deal. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Coke or Pepsi? Christine's actually gonna help me mix this up so that way I don't know which one is which. I'm gonna go ahead and blind myself now, but let's go ahead and do this. Can you see my hand? No. I'll tell you what though, there's nothing like being blindfolded and waiting in anticipation of a sweet surprise. Okay. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope I don't spill any of this onto my work laptop. Okay. I just remember Coke being way more fizzy. Oh, 
Oh wow, I totally thought that I was gonna be able to guess Coke. Man, guys, I don't... Okay, so whatever this one is, has a little bit more fizz. Actually, this one tastes a little bit more citrusy. Okay, so I've always known Coke to be way more fizzy than Pepsi, so I'm just gonna go based off of that. I'm gonna say that this is Coke and this is Pepsi. No way, totally guessed wrong. So that's Coke. All right guys, there you have it. I, Pepsi does well in the sip test. Cheers boys. Man, this day went by super fast, especially after that Pepsi and Coke test. So definitely try that out. I was completely surprised at how I answered that. I totally thought I would have been able to guess Coke hands down, no matter what. And yeah, I was completely surprised by it. But. I'd be interested to hear what you guys answer and just <laughs> see if you guys are surprised just as much as I was. But with that being said, guys, today is an extremely important day in my personal life. Um, it's the one year anniversary of my grandma passing and she's played a tremendous role in my life as I'm sure a lot of your grandparents and parents do in yours. But, you know, growing up as a kid, she was always there, sick, taking me to school, and even, you know, later on into college years. And also even beyond that, you know, when I was in San Diego, I was visiting her on a monthly basis um, at the time when she was at her senior residence. And, you know, she was going through the whole gamut of Alzheimer's dementia. And that whole experience, I do not wish on anybody at all, but, during that time, it just really showed me just how absolutely fearless she was. And, you know, even with that, I went on my very first roller coaster because of her. She went, rode on that roller coaster with me, just straight up fearless. So, you know, with that, I figured just to commemorate and really remember her, um, we're gonna spin up a easy traditional Korean meal that's high in protein. We'll throw some veggies in there and yeah, we'll cap off the night with that. But otherwise, let's get to it. So for this particular dish, bulgogi is usually made with a really tender type of meat. Now you can use ribeye, you can use flank steak, and I think those are typically what uh, most people prefer, but at the same token, you can also use it for pork and chicken. Now, we're gonna go ahead and continue to cut up the meat into thin slices, and this really is just allowing the meat to marinate evenly across each piece. So with that, let's go ahead and get back into the recipe. So guys, that marinade is very simple. We got two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of honey, and three tablespoons of water, along with one tablespoon of sesame oil. Very easy, I'll go ahead and put the details in the description box below. But while the meat marinades, we're gonna create ourselves a little bit of a pancake. Now, Korean cuisine is heavily built off of vegetables. And also, you know, I don't know about you guys, but hearing the word pancake, I don't know if it was just a easy way to get kids to eat their vegetables, but definitely got me. So we're gonna create ourselves a little bit of a pancake using some diced up zucchini, carrots, green onion, a little bit of a jalapeno, gotta throw some fuego in there, and then a little bit of flour. So we're gonna mix this all up and we'll see you guys in a second. Man, this looks and smells absolutely bomb.com guys. So here we go with the finished product. We've got the beef on a bed of cauliflower rice topped off with some green onions and a sprinkle of sesame seeds. Just looking absolutely gorgeous, guys. I'm making my mouth water as I'm talking about this, but here is the vegetable pancake. Now, very, very iconic to the Korean cuisine. And for those of you who have tried this previously, you know that this is usually paired up with a sauce. Now we've got a soy sauce vinegar mixture and the combination is absolutely delicious. Just a great, great blend of flavors. But you know, with that, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal. I'm gonna go ahead and put my total calories and macros up on the screen now. I'm definitely under for today. It's been an extremely busy day just going back to back with meetings and taking care of a lot of other stuff around the house and uh, throughout the day. And so I'm gonna probably more than likely push those calories over to another day. I'll enjoy a bigger meal or you know maybe treat myself to a dessert. But either way, during the work days, I normally really follow an 80-20 rule. 80% of the time, be good, follow your nutrition, follow your calories. 20% of the time, you gotta let life happen. And you know, with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, enjoy this meal. We're getting one step closer to mastering Korean cuisine, guys. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. But otherwise, stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.